Today we're taking a look at this Sharp 27F541. You can see down in the bottom here it says X flat. This is their X flat series. Over here in the bottom here it says component in MTS universal remote. I don't know what MTS means, but it's proud that it has component. And I don't blame it. Component is awesome. That's what we're plugged into right now. I picked this TV up because I was planning on doing a video on average TVs and trying to show how they look. And unfortunately, this TV really doesn't look average. It looks pretty damn good. <laughs> so the good news with that is if you run into one of these, I would recommend picking one up. So let's check out the build quality. It's mimicking a Sony. You can see it's got the speakers on the side. It's silver. Like, I thought it was a Sony when I looked online at first, but it's not. You know, it's a Sharp. You can see on the top here, unfortunately, the top is curved. So it's like, it looks like it's flat, kind of. So if, it looks like you'd want to set something on it, but you can't. I mean, it's whatever. It looks fine. It looks kind of like a 120. Like a Sony Trinitron 120, I mean. You know, you got your buttons in here, you got your composite, your menu stuff. Ooh, I did find that I couldn't adjust the inputs unless I had the remote. And luckily I just had some random sharp remote lying around that worked. Um, yeah, not much to say about this. The build quality is fine. This kind of seat right here reminds me of like a 120 or um, even like a 15 series Trinitron FV27F50 or a, a 27... FV15 type of Trinitron. Those have that seat on the bottom. A lot of the 15s on the Trinitrons are cracked. This one isn't cracked. It looks in good shape. I will say the TV is as heavy as a Trinitron. Um, it's a 27 inch and I, I can just barely pick it up off the ground on my own. It is a flat screen and it does take component. It is a standard definition CRT so you don't have to worry about any HD upscaling nonsense. Okay, on the back side we got Sharp model number 27F541, manufactured January 2005, pretty new tube, made in Mexico, that doesn't fill me with confidence, I'd prefer it to be made in Japan or America, but whatever, I'd be interested to see what kind of tube it has in it, but I was looking, it's got a lot of screws, I'm feeling lazy, I don't care too much about this set, I'm sorry guys, I'm not opening it up. But uh, here we go, we got that all important component video and it shares an input with composite video, meaning that uh, input three only has one audio to share with the composite and the component. It has an input one here, that's composite. And it looks like input one also shares the audio with the S video, so you got you know your S video right here that shares the audio with the composite input one and it has a audio out I guess if you wanted to send this audio to a stereo you got the RF and I believe it only has composite in the front I forget but you can see earlier in the video when I was showing that off so we're zoomed in to check out the scan lines you can see they're pretty wimpy but they're still there there really isn't much of a screen door pattern. I'm looking at my recording and I had to put the focus out to get rid of the moiré. But looking at the actual TV, there is a little bit of a screen dooring, just minor when you're really close like this. I mean, if you get close enough to any TV, you'll get that screen door pattern. Um, when I sit in a normal viewing distance, it looks good. There's no screen dooring. It's not as sharp as a Trinitron, it's not as sharp as a Toshiba AF. It's more like a D-Series, it really reminds me of a D-Series, how it looks, even though it's a flat screen. It's better than a JVC IR, it's a good set. Um, the colors are good, they're not, I mean, I almost want to say they're excellent. They're, they're good. You know, not too much to say about it, it's a very decent set, totally serviceable. I still would rather have a Trinitron or a Toshiba AF model. The TV does appear to have some edge enhancement feature. You can see like around Mega Man, just the black 
around him. It looks like someone went over him with a Sharpie and his gloves are just really black. And I was comparing it over here to my Trinitron where I can turn the edge enhancement on and off. And yeah, it definitely looks like when the edge enhancement is turned on on the Trinitron. So yeah, I can't find anything in the menu to adjust that. Maybe you can get into the service menu and turn that off. I would want to. Having the edge enhancement on is is really a, a mark against this TV. So let's check out the menu options. I went through them. There's really only two things of note in here. So one, in the video adjust, the color temp is quite useful. It looks really good on low in my opinion. Um, medium, low, and high, it tends to do some kind of like blue adjust it, it uh, heightens the blues so on low it looks excellent um, besides that in the video settings you just have everything you need picture tint color brightness sharp um, and the other thing of note is that it has a blue screen option here that you can turn on and off unfortunately i can't get it to work i only have component plugged in right now maybe if i plugged in composite it would work but that wouldn't be too useful because you have to reset all these settings for each input. So if you set it on composite, say on input two, then you'd have to, and you use that blue screen, you'd still need to adjust your component inputs. And I typically only use component if I can help it. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, so if you go into setup here and you go to blue screen, which would be nice if we could get a blue screen, we wouldn't need theater gels, we could do our color adjust but if you it doesn't do anything it's not doing anything I don't know what's up with that so I finally found a use for these theater gels the blue plastic I have taped over the screen there you can see it taped up in the corners here's another one these guys are cheap this one's lighter I ended up using the darker one when I bought them I didn't know which to get so I just got both it's probably not a big deal but uh, I didn't feel like going into the service menu and figuring out how to turn the red and green guns off to dial in the color. And I always recommend you dial in the brightness and color. I got a video on that before you start checking out a CRT. Because you might think like, oh man, this TV's color is bad. Well, you just need to dial it in. Like this one was off when I got it. Like it had the picture blasted all the way up. But anyways, so I just taped the blue gel on there. Got an SMPTE color bar pattern up. Go into video adjust. I already did the brightness. Oh, I'm turning the picture up. I don't want to do that. So let's go to color. Let's do color first and then tint. And okay, there's color. So you're looking at this bar over here. I already had it dialed in, but I'm just demonstrating this. Like you want these two to be the same. Like you can see this is bright and that's dark. And that's, I just dialed it in. So they're about the same. That's good. And then you do tint. Tint's almost always the... Actually, I, every time I check it, it's fine on these TVs. You just put it at zero, which it usually is defaulted at. And you want these, these two bars the same. I'm going to whack it out. Now you can see this is dark and that's light. It's, the tint's going to be whack. You can tell if tint's off anyways. Like, you don't need to do all this probably. But just for demonstration purposes. Now they're the same. And yeah, like, this theater gel works just as good as turning the red and green guns off. Got a grip pulled up. Geometry's good. There's bowling over here on the side. It's really on the extreme side here. But other than that, it's fine. It's uh, serviceable. Let's back out. Sometimes I can see it better just with this menu pulled up. Yeah, you can see it. There's actually some bowling. It's funny, I can notice it better on this screen than I can with the, the grid pulled up. There's bowling there. And there's a little bit more serious here that I could probably correct. That's usually an easy correction. Um, like a pin cushion, I think it is. Um, it looks like it might be a little bit tilted this way too. Maybe there's a service menu adjustment for that, like a yoke adjustment. So I'm checking black levels by turning the red, green, and blue guns off. And uh, doing this in the 240p test suite. And... It's hard to tell with the lights on. Let me turn the light off real quick. It's on par with the BVM. So it's got good black levels. 
Um, my XBR is quite a bit brighter, so this one's looking good on the, on black levels. Okay, so I thought this thing's white balance was a little bit blue, but then I got into the menu here, and I found this adjustment color tint. So it was set on like medium, low, or high. Like, see how much of a difference this makes? We're comparing it to my BVM over here, which has excellent white balance. Um, yeah, so if I put this on color temp low, man, it looks really good. <laughs> on medium low, medium high, it 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 tints it blue. Trinitrons have a feature like this as well. But when I put it on low, it, it has very good white balance. All right, so final thoughts on the Sharp X flat here. You know, I was picking this up because I wanted to get a very average set so I could do a YouTube video about like what a screen door pattern looks and how different CRTs look because I don't have an average set. And I've seen them before. I've seen lots of them. I mean, they're what we grew up with. So I picked this up because I thought it would be, and it's not. It's more of a high-end set. It's a very excellent CRT. I don't know what to do with it. I feel bad just taking it to the dump. But if you go out there and find one of these, I wouldn't turn my nose up to one of these Sharp X flats. It's, I mean, it's a step down from a, a Trinitron, but I mean, it's up there with the D-Series guys. Like, And it's a flat screen. I know a lot of guys like the bubble tubes. I actually prefer flat screens. The only problem with them is you can get, they're more prone to geometry issues, but... Um, the geometry issues this has, I'm pretty confident I could fix if I wanted to bother with it, and they're not that bad. Yeah, I mean, go out there and get you some sharps.